Hello and welcome, it's Thursday, so we are going to do a great new free HIO game and this time it's going to be Night and Province. My name is Materius and I'm going to dive into this old school RTS game. That's what they like to call themselves, it's a slow RTS game so yeah we're going to try and I was trying to start a single play but this already looks pretty complicated so then I saw the button campaign mode and I'm going to start the introduction campaign all right we'll start at the mission citizens enemy is attacking our town you need to stop them and rebuild the lost houses okay, all right that doesn't sound too hard that doesn't sound too hard at all all right the enemy is attacking hurry up and defend our town this looks kind of neat all right guess these are my soldiers and we are going to move them we got a lot of people all right why are those people just standing there I wish we could go and mark all right so we can do a lot of things I just need to figure that out it does look kind of neat in the old-school style remember this is a pre-alpha is alpha version 9.1 we're on and it's truly a slow RTS you must really enjoy these type of games but I guess this is kind of neat. Now let's kill those last two and then wonder what we should do with these blank people that are called idle. Enemy got us by surprise. You need to rebuild lost houses. Build three cottages. All right. Well, that shouldn't be too hard being an old school RTS guy. And uh, that's one cottage. This is another cottage. Oh, oh. And not quite sure what I was doing. Oh, construction road. No, we don't want to construct a road. I guess people are making it by them all. Oh. To rotate, push the tab. All right, I, just, I was just wondering how to rotate the house. So. All right, I can't rotate it to two sizes. That's kind of pity, but oh well, it's pre alpha. Well, that may come. All right, so we got. We can build a lot. We can build stone cutters, I guess. Let's check out these houses. I got a wood cutter and I got a camp that can build militia and that kind of stuff. Ooh, a little glitchy there, but that will go in fine. Let's move our troops. Let's explore a little bit because this is kind of neat. Look at the way real classic RTS style of fog and war. I wonder if I go back. Yeah, then the oh no, then the fog and war stays. All right, that, that's that. There's no real fog war here, but we can explore the map. And this, yeah. Ooh, ooh, that's an enemy. Can we first regroup? Because then we can attack. Almost done the first housing. I wonder if I attack now if I screw up the tutorial. I most likely will, but we don't mind. We don't mind. We are going to attack these guys. Because we hate blue. We hate blue and we're going to kill blue. I really like red and, and I guess... Alright. 
Let's take a look at our houses. We've almost got one cottage done. Look at the way Ooh, you can zoom in a lot. Oh, this looks pretty neat. Look at the guy, how, how he builds. This is kind of great. Look at the detail of that guy. Oh, we should take a look at our soldiers because I'm not quite sure what they were going to do. Let's just destroy the fort. Right, I don't know what these people are supposed to do, but yeah. We've almost rebuilt all the houses. Look at the detail. It's it's kind of neat. You can zoom in a lot. I love that. I love that a lot. Oh, they are going back in the houses now. That's a good thing. I guess people live in the houses. 20 residents live in one house. What can we do? We can manage a lot. We can... Ooh, it's, it's this is all interesting. We are going to find out everything that comes with this game. But what we are going to do is slowly and we are going to explore this one. Ooh, I already won. Alright, victory. So, the first mission was to destroy the Mike Tink and build three cottages rebuilt. And then we are going to the basic. This time we're going to start a new. You will need to learn the basic building housing. Alright, we'll do that. I can do that. Welcome to the basics. Your goal is to build a small village capable of producing and building materials, wood and stone. Well, I can do that. I'm good at that. We already got ourselves a woodcutter. We can do that and what's the mission we need to build a cottage we need to build a school we need to build a saw and an additional tavern all right i guess the first thing we do need is some kind of food we can do requires a tavern all right let's build ourselves a little field Ooh, was that a wolf? I guess it was. Alright, that's kind of annoying. I don't know if they are dangerous. Right, we got the fields. Now... We need to build a house. And I want to road to it. Because I want to have everything needs. Are you a guy on a horse? Yes, you are. You're a scout, all right. Idiot, scout. Wonder if we can attack if you will win or if you will die. Wolf, doesn't say how strong the wolf is. I guess uh, you, you need to pull back, you need to pull back. Oh no, you're going to die. Oh no, you're not going to die. Yes. Hello? Can you pick that up? Yes. yes, I wonder if he did his own voiceover because it's kind of cool. Yes. 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 I miss if you played the old Warcraft 1, if you pushed the guy a lot of times, he would say in the end stop bugging me and you know, something yes. like that. It it was a lot of fun just pushing yes. the guy. Yes. And I could really see that in this game. So if you if one of the creators does get to do see this video, please put that in the game because I love doing that. Just poking the pion around and if if he would stop poking me, something like that. Something very interesting way of having you and every every guy should have his own voice. So the, the scout should also say something. If you got the peon saying something, I really want the scout also to say something. So please, please, please get that in the game. I would really love that. Alright, I guess this is not a, quite as large map as expected. 
Uh, we got a woodcutter thing done. Guess our cottage almost done. And then I guess we require the schoolhouse, require the sawmill. Alright, well, let's build the sawmill. And we are going to build a road. Oh man, I I'm, could see myself fall in love with this guy, with this guy, with this game. Oh my god, that was a little bit embarrassing. With the game, not the guy. All right, let's see what can we build. Even more, we need a schoolhouse. I'm going to build a schoolhouse. Not quite sure if there are other things that we need. I don't even know how much stuff I have. I'm not quite. Oh, it's in the top. All right. All right. No worry. We got enough stuff. Build the school, then build the sawmill. Where is the sawmill? Because it's under the mining tab. Oh man, this this is enjoyable. A little relaxing way of spending your evening playing, crafting, and scouting ahead. The only thing I miss is that I would want to be able to more uh, yeah how do you say that put a square around my people that's that's i'm kind of like the old dune guys that you select a lot of troops in one time but except for that this game is is kind of amazing for a pre-alpha game man you still scare me you look like an ogre something like that Looks like there's gold in here. Look at him. Uh, the music, the sounds. Really, really makes you get attracted to this game. Alright, I guess we scouted all the way to that area. Did my scout heal slowly? No, he didn't heal. Supply troops with food. What is... what do you need? Oh, I guess I need to supply and put the road to the right area. Alright. Then they are going to build the house. But he really picked the right music for this game. If you if you notice, and I certainly do, the music diverts a lot, and that's for a pre-alpha game is a pretty good thing. So the only thing you need to do is put more sounds in the pie, and because I like to push them, I like to poke them around. But that's just me personal. Alright, let's speed it up a little bit. Let's see how that works. Because I now need to wait for everything to be finished. I already scouted. And I guess as a hardcore RTS gamer like myself, the tutorial is kind of easy. But I do want to play it because it's an important part of the game. And you learn a lot about a game doing it that way. And remember, this is game is you can try it for free at the moment at itch.io and I put a link down below in the comment and description. So yeah, if you enjoy it, just watching this, you should certainly play it. Look at this. Oh my god, this look this looks great. Look at them work. Come on, hammer it man. I wonder what I can do with oh that's sawmill. This is a school. Right, so they're already 
collect. Ooh, you can collect that. Collect that one. Alright, I guess we only need a tavern. Alright, let's build the tavern. Where is it? Where is it? Well, I also want a woodcutter. Just because I want. I want to have a woodcutter house. Just because I can, I want it. Just because I like it. Let's see, and the tavern. Where's the tavern? That's the tavern. Ooh, that's a big house. Alright, last house. Yeah, Scouty. Oh, I just enjoyed this so much. So I guess I need some school worker for this one. What is the sawmill? Did I build two sawmills? Oh my god, I built two sawmills. All right. Uh, I guess we need a carpenter for that one. Let's train a carpenter and let's train another carpenter. And I also need to train a woodcutter. No, I'll, oh man, I already had a woodcutter. I need a stone cutter. All right, and the last thing to supply a builders with we, what are you? What are you? Stone mason? Guess I didn't build a stone mason. No, I don't build it. Well, we can still build it. We can explore and build. All right, I guess they will go to their houses and work. I wonder when this is full. We got a lot of food, that's a good thing. I was thinking of building something like a food supply, but we don't need it at the moment, I guess. Alright, let's build the tavern. The tavern is this one, I guess. What's this one? No, this is the tavern. And uh, this was Stonecutter's house. I guess at some time you do need a speed 4 or something like that. That would be nice, especially these dull moments that I'm waiting for them to complete the tavern. But in the end, I keep reminding you guys this is a pre-alpha and I've seen way worse first in one game than this and I already enjoying myself a lot with the sound the games the gameplay and for a tutorial this is well worked out and I want to try to do one more mission with the tutorial I think I'm going to do a few episodes of this game because I just enjoy it. I enjoy it a lot. Right. Guess we got the tavern. We need to build a stone cutter. Oh, that's the last thing. I I no way didn't knew I did find something we didn't do right. Come on, guys, bring the stones to those guys. Oh man, we're out of stone. Oh my god, we're out of stone. <laughs> I screwed up. I screwed up. Oh man. Alright, can we break down stuff? Let's see if that, that's possible because I kind of screwed up. I guess we screwed up a lot. I wonder if I destroy this. Do we get the resources back? I'm not quite sure. No, I guess not. All right, then. I officially screwed up the tutorial. It's kind of neat that it's even possible, but I just screwed up the tutorial. And with that, I'm going to end the episode. 
I hope you guys all enjoyed it and I'm definitely going to do another one next uh, Thursday. So if you guys enjoy this game and want to watch see more of this game, subscribe and uh, leave your comment down below because I really enjoy reading your comments and tell me what you think of the game because you can try it out for free and yeah you should really try it out because this is just an amazing game. Thank you all for watching and see you all at the next video. My name is Materius.